Hey guys, I'm here now to do a book review on Stork by Wendy Del Sol. I started this book yesterday and I finished it yesterday. It's 350 something pages, but I was off yesterday. 356 pages. 57. I was off yesterday. I had no husband, no kids, so it was just me and the animals, and literally that's all I did was read this book. First of all, let me just say, say that this cover is gorgeous. I love how, like, iridescent it is. Look at that. It's just beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, if you're not sure what this book is about, which I didn't tell you with The Lion Game, like, I didn't read it to you, and I apologize, I'm going to go ahead and read the insert for Stork. It says, Moving from L.A. to Nowhere, Minnesota, 16-year-old Catla LeBlanc expected the local fashion scene to be frozen in time. What she didn't expect was an induction into the Icelandic Stork Society, an ancient order of women charged with a unique mystical duty. Not only is Catla the youngest member, but Halda, the society's omen-guided leader, immediately besows the coveted second cheer on her, a decision that ruffles a few feathers. As if that weren't enough, Catla also has to deal with her parents' divorce and the social aftermath of a bad date with popular but creepy Wade. Catla, however, isn't one to sit on her designer jean-clad behind, and soon she's assigned the fashion column for the school paper and making new friends. Things would be looking up if it weren't for editor-in-chief Jack. Even though they argue every time they meet, Catla is inexplicably drawn to him. Juggling her home life, school, and stork duties, will Catla be able to unravel the mystery surrounding Jack? More importantly, will she find a dress in time for homecoming? Folk tales collide with reality in Wendy Del Sol's debut novel in which one girl finds herself tail feathers deep in small town life. Um, when I started this book, I was expecting it to be, obviously, about storks, um, human storks. <clears throat> but this book really wasn't a whole lot about that. Um, this book, I give it probably about, okay, it depends. If this is going to be a series or a trilogy or whatever, then I'll give it a three and a half stars. Um, but if this is a standalone book, then I have to give it only three stars. And I know that's only a half a star difference, but it makes a difference in my head. Um, reason being that, like I said, this book didn't delve too much into Catla being a human stork. Um, she obviously finds out that she is a stork, and she finds out what that means, and she does have one job to do, but that's it. Um, what happens is, is she dreams about things. So she will dream about the baby, a baby, um, and in the dream it will tell her things about the baby. And she will also dream about a few potential vessels is what they call it um, and who she can determine will be the one to become pregnant with this child so there's only um, like I said like one job that she has but the rest of the book is basically about um, her making friends and getting in with this one group of friends like um, I guess meeting them, the reader, uh, getting to know them, and then Jack. Jack has known, or I can't say he knew, he knew of Ketla from before because they used to visit, that's where her grandparents live, and something really bad happened um, earlier, and Ketla got amnesia from it, so she didn't remember, but Jack remembered. So every time they ran into each other, uh, Jack was really cold towards her. It was like he expected her to remember what happened and to remember him, and she just didn't. Um, you know, as the story goes on, you know, every one of their encounters is just like, it's horrible. He's just so cold to her, and she's just tired of his attitude. And the couple times that they ended up touching, um, you know, just accidentally, you know, whatever, um, something happened. Like, she felt like so cold inside and um more towards the end of the story you start to understand what's going on with Jack and him and Kala actually um fix their problems if you will um and there's more to Jack than meets the eye there's a lot of 
hee hawing around certain things where you know that there's more to it. And you do start to get a few answers towards the end. Um, Catla's basically, you already know basically what's going on with her. And uh, so this book is about magic. It is about friendship. It's about family. Um, not a whole lot of action happened in this book. There was one action part, and it was at the very end. Um, it was with one of the characters that I truly didn't suspect was up to what he was up to. And I did not like the way, though, that that panned out because you were introduced to the character early on, um, and he was steady throughout the book, but when you find out what he was, if you will, it came on really fast, and the action scene happened, like, really fast to me, and then before you know it, he's gone. So I don't know if he will make a reappearance in the next book, if there is a next book, or if that was it. And it was just really rushed in that at the end with that scene, and I didn't really care for that. The writing in this book was awesome it was excellent and that's what kept me reading too um the words just flowed for me she was descriptive i love the words that she used um so that was definitely a plus the characters i really like the characters i really like jack and then i liked halda who was like the the first chair in this icelandic stork society um so i did like those two characters catla wasn't too bad um you know, I don't have, like, a whole lot to say on her. There is another character in this book um, that started off being really stuck up in that. And then also towards the end, she starts to be nice. And I'm not really sure about all of that. And I, that's another thing that I'm not too know if I like or not. Um, so, like I said, if this is a standalone book, I really didn't care for it too much then because not a whole lot happened. And I feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions. So I'm really hoping that this is a series trilogy or what have you, because then this definitely is setting you up. And I really believe that if there is more, then that's going to be a lot more action. There's going to be a lot more going on, and I'm really going to want to get into it. So that's it for this book, Stork by Wendy Del Sol. So like I said, standalone book, eh, series, yeah. So, and there's some recommendations on the back. Nancy Worland, uh, Beth Fantasky, and Eileen Cook. So, if you have any questions about this, you can go ahead and ask. Um, I know these are a little bit rushed through these last two uh, book reviews, and I apologize. I have these book reviews also, though, up on Goodreads and on my blog, which may be, a be clarified a little bit more. Um, Right now, I am reading Fever 1793 by um, Lori Hulse Anderson, but it's just not, it's like a middle school read to me, you know, I just, I feel like I waste my time. I have so many books that I have to read that if something's just not grabbing me or I just can't get into it, it's just not doing it for me, I don't mind giving up on it because there are so many other books out there. And, you know, you don't live forever, so I might not finish it, but then I might because it is a short book. I don't know. I'm going to try when I get off here. I'm going to try to read it and see how it's catching me this time um, and then go from there. If I don't finish it, I think I'm going to read uh, Dash and Lily's Book of Dares because so, that's a short winter Christmassy time book. All right, I'll talk to you guys later.